Don't look at the light! Hi everyone and thanks again for visiting the Boonies Gear channel and today I have a question for you and that question is are you sick of bugs and getting bit by mosquitoes? Well hopefully I have a solution. It's down here. There you go. <laughs> I hopefully have a solution and that is the Skeeter Hawk Solar Torch Zapper. So I've not opened this yet so we're going to go ahead and open this and see what's in here. The idea behind the Skeeter Hawk Solar Torch Zapper is to have a bug zapper that looks like a tiki torch that has a nice flickering flame but also kills bugs so what we're hoping to see here is if it actually works we're gonna go ahead and open the box and see what's in it so let's do that now all right so we'll go ahead and open this so first off we have a metal piece and we have a black packing piece we have poles metal aluminum Another pole. So we have various various poles. The idea I think behind these poles is to be able to put them together to get various heights that you want to use to achieve the height of your tiki torch, I suppose. Alright. Let's pull out the unit here. It says it's made out of durable plastic, I suppose. Looks like we got different settings here at the top you can look in and see the element and the little zapper cage here all right I'm guessing up here is where we're gonna find our solar cell all right look at that so there it is on top and I think that's it that and some more poles I haven't had a lot of experience with solar powered items really um, I don't know how well it's gonna work for a bug zapper because in my mind a bug zapper is going to need a, quite a bit of electricity to work, but you know, we'll test it out and see. So, I guess maybe I'm a little bit skeptical starting out, but uh, it looks pretty, pretty strong. So, on the top here, you can see, and I'll zoom in here. So, these different marks. So, this first one, if you can see that, shows a flame. The flame is just for the flickering flame and mode. Can't see that very fast, or I'll mess it up. Uh, the next setting is just for the bug zapper mode or you can turn it to flame and bug zapping capabilities. So um, hopefully the flame's pretty cool and it gives you a good ambience, you know, sitting there. Maybe you can set them up in your backyard or uh, when you're up in the mountains camping. I'm hoping it works really well. So we're going to set it up here in the sun and let it get some sunlight. It says it needs a 13 hours of sunlight to get a full charge. We have a lot of clouds right now. We're going to try to find a sunny spot in the yard and set this up. We're not going to get 13 hours, so I'm hoping that there's a little bit of charge to this already so we can get this film tonight. But uh, where we're at right now, the mosquitoes are crazy. We come out at dusk and they're just eating us alive, so I really want to see if this is going to make a difference. I know it won't make a difference over the whole yard, but maybe in the proximity of this light, there'll be a little bit of difference. Anyway, so I will see you when it gets dusk. Okay, now we're back out here, it's dusk. We're gonna see if we can make this thing work. Um, a few things just to note. Uh, when putting this together, so there's one pipe that doesn't have a taper to it. That goes there. And then the rest of them screw in accordingly, like this. All right, here we go. Obviously, pointy end goes in the ground. All right, so they do have this bracket for extra support, but as you can see, it does not fit there. So, I'm guessing, I'm gonna remove this bottom leg here. You think? Agreed? All right. So, pretty much what we're looking at, so just a little under four foot, 40, what, six inches. So, I guess it could go down. Personally, I'd like to see this a little bit taller. I mean, because you think of traditional tiki torches are, I don't know, probably about five foot tall. So this is pretty low. So it's still kind of twilight out here. I'm not sure if this is going to turn on. We were just trying it a minute ago and it really didn't. Um, and it is not quite dark enough, so we might have to fake it. It is photosensitive, so if I put my hand on it, <laughs> there we go. 
If I put my hand on it, it'll light up as soon as I take my hand away. Um, also, when it is daylight and it automatically turns itself off, that's when it'll actually start charging. So, using, charging, using, charging. Hopefully it's not getting too dark and you guys can still see this, but there is a little tray right here. It's hard to pull out, but if you put your finger under it and push up on it and it makes that noise, then it'll pull out. This is where all your dead bugs are gonna fall. So it'll give you a place to clean it out. There is also a little brush on the underside here. Whoops. A brush there, I guess, apparently to be able to clean the inside out. So I'll put that back in. Go ahead and slide that back in. All right. Okay. Ready to go. So I guess the next step is just to test it. <laughs> I'm currently not really getting bit by bugs right now. Sorry, we live next to a freeway. We live in this beautiful valley in the mountains, but we have a freeway that runs right through here. And so you'll hear the noise of the freeway and that's what's going on. Anyway, what was I saying? Oh, okay, so right now it's getting twilight. It's getting dark. I'm, I'm currently not getting bit by bugs yet and nothing. So I'm gonna have to find some tape or something to put over this, see if we can get it going. Okay, during the unboxing, there was a sticker that was on top of this. So I'm just going to stick that sticker back on and see if that'll help activate. Oh, yeah, there we go. All right. Let's sit down and wait for the show. So this is the torchlight mode? Or is oh, this yeah. both? Okay, okay, okay. That's a good point. Okay, so the different settings. So this first one here, that's just the fire. And obviously it's not putting out heat, so don't think it's an actual fire simulated. Next one the lights so that's the bug zapper guessing a UV style light attracts the bugs and then if you want them both on so you have that fire flickering ambience and the bug zapper at the same time so I think we're just gonna leave it on this setting and uh, see how it does alrighty let's get zapping Looks like we're getting bugs. Lots of bugs in here. But are they getting zapped? You can definitely see it's attracting them. A lot of moths though. I don't see really any mosquitoes, which is the ones you'd like to zap because nobody likes to be sucked on by mosquitoes. I like to get a big sizzle. Well, it's definitely attracting bugs, so I guess we'll let it run through the night and uh, see what it looks like in the morning, see how many bugs we get in the tray. But uh, it is definitely attracting bugs, so I guess that's what it's supposed to do. Whether it's frying them quite like we're used to, I don't know about that, but it is attracting them. Oh. Yeah, anyway, all right, we'll see you in the morning. Okay, so it's the next morning. We left this on all night long. Um, and looks like, I don't know if you guys can see that on camera, we do have a few bugs inside of here that we got last night. Um, not a whole lot of mosquitoes. Given the choice between the light zapper and your skin, looks like the mosquitoes will still choose your skin. But I'm seeing a lot of little moths and things inside this. Again, not really a whole lot of mosquitoes. All right, it's another night. We let the solar torch zapper sit out throughout the day. So we get a good full charge. And uh, we're gonna turn it on again and see what it, uh, see what it does. So when I checked it this morning, um, there was bugs in it. A lot of moths I didn't see a lot of mosquitoes and so we're gonna try to get it going now one thing though with this with the solar torch is that it is solar powered so it's not real bright and I think when it's kind of dusk it doesn't attract the bugs very well because it's not really that bright a traditional bug zapper is gonna be a lot brighter it's gonna attract a lot more 
uh, attention for the bugs are going to go to it. The solar torch just isn't that bright. So it really doesn't seem to be working great until it gets like really dark like it is now. And uh, that's when it attracts the bugs, unfortunately. So we've got it out here. We've got it running. We'll see what it does again. I mean, and I don't know if the camera can show it very well. I guess we can walk over towards it. Anyway, it is, it is cool as far as the light it puts off. And if you had a couple of them scattered throughout the yard, it would actually look pretty cool. Um, so as, as a, oh look, it zapped. We got a bug, woo! <laughs> I, I didn't know if it would actually zap, but uh, that was an actual zap. I don't know if you guys heard that on the camera, but it did zap, so that's cool. Like I said, it seems to do better when it's actually really dark than it does when there's, uh, when it's dusk. So I guess we'll keep watching. You probably can't see me at all. <laughs> anyway, but yeah, I think it'd be cool if there were several of these scattered throughout your yard. The light it puts off is neat, I think, you know, and it does seem to attract bugs. So we'll, uh, we'll keep an eye on it and see what it does here. Okay, so it's the next morning, and this was the second night that the Solar Torch Zapper has been running. So let's come take a look and see uh, what we caught in the tray. Just off the first notice that there's not really that many more bugs in it from the other night, but let's let's see. Oh, there we go. There's some, and there's still some alive. Hey, that one flew off. <laughs> well, anyway, go ahead. Yeah, some of those are still alive. Some of them are dead. Okay, let's wrap up this review of the uh, Skeeter Hawk Solar Torch. And uh, so first off, the Solar Torch retails for $54.99. And uh, we'll just kind of go over a few pros and a few cons. So first off, the pros are, uh, one, it's it's fairly sturdy. Uh, it seems to be built okay. The the second pro is, is it, it, it is really great ambience to have around. It's portable, so you can take it with you camping or in your yard and move it around fairly easy without having to worry about plugging it in. Plugging it in. Um, so there's there's really no way to charge it off, uh, like say like a USB cable or anything like that. It's completely solar charged, uh, which is fine, and it, that seems to work. And it seems to last quite a while. Uh, cons are one: I wish it was a little taller. It's kind of on the short side. Two: I wish it had a little bit more bug zappiness. It really, I mean, it works okay as a bug zapper, but really, I wouldn't expect the level of performance out of like a plug-in bug zapper. Um, it will do it, and if you're out camping or in your yard and there's some a light that's brighter, the bugs are going to go there to that light. They're not going to come to this, so it really needs to be pretty dark for it to be effective. Um, so, it's a cool, it's a cool torch, uh, probably worth having. But just know that when you buy it, you're not gonna have extreme performance for, out of bug zapping. It's really gonna be something that's gonna be cool as an ambience to set around your yard and give that kind of extra little bit of flair for you or have around while you're camping. So anyway, uh, wrap up the review. Hopefully, hopefully it was helpful for you guys. And uh, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments. I'll respond to those. And uh, we'll see you on the next video. Appreciate it, thanks.